what's going on everybody this is Will with Very Great Software and in today's video um, I'm going to be showing you a side hustle that really no one ever talks about because uh, there's typically um, you know affiliate marketing, drop servicing, drop shipping and uh, maybe dropping your pants uh, I certainly don't do that last one but um, yeah so I got a slide deck here and I'm going to be showing you the numbers the big number that you all want to see first but then if you want to stick around for the rest of the video please do i'm going to be going into each every single number that i can show you from my apps and uh how you can do this as well and how passive this truly is so so my two apps in the month of november have totaled three thousand and twenty four dollars and ten cents Automate POD, you guys can look this up. I'm gonna be fully transparent throughout all of my income reports, by the way. So, Automate POD, $1,620 roughly. Bubble Scout, uh, roughly $1,400. Um, yeah, and they've actually been doing this for the at least like six to eight months now. So I can safely assume that taking these $3,000 and multiplying that by 12, I make roughly $36,000 from this, which is amazing because that literally pays for my rent. But uh, now we're gonna get into the weeds with all the numbers. Uh, we didn't really venture out into ads or anything anything like that. Really the only marketing that we have done is through YouTube. So, um, but in the future, I think we are gonna be dabbling into doing some Google ads because I think we do have like $150 credit um, that we can use. Um, as, and also like we make plenty of money from these two apps that we could probably start um, creating some Google ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or even make like our own TikTok ads. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, eight new subscriptions. That's not bad. It's not good. It, it is what it is. But yeah, as you can see, it's down 20% from what it was the previous month in October. So I think in October, that probably means that we got 10 subscriptions. Um but with that, uh, we do have a churn rate of about 18%. And I think throughout the entire like yearly graph of Automate POD, because it's been out since like June of 2020, so a lot longer than a year, um, I believe it's pretty much been around this number, like around like 15 to 20%. So I, I feel like that's really good. I feel, I think obviously, yeah, you want this number to be really low, um, but at least, you know, it's not, I feel like that's pretty good, like 20% of people leaving, like at least it's not like something like 50. But our total active subscriptions for the month of November, 35, if, if any of those subscribers are currently watching, hey, I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, 35 people currently active. Uh, it looked like it was down probably like one subscription from the month of October. So, and that's pretty much expected from this app. I believe I typically have th around 35 active subscribers at any given point in time. That's been pretty much the same for like the past six to eight months. So, um, yeah, pretty consistent there. Like I said, I haven't really done any marketing, any ads, nothing like that. But the total amount of sales from Stripe um, is $630. Now, when you make an app Typically what you want to do is you just want to start off with a one payment processor. So either choose uh, like something like Braintree, Pay PayPal, or Stripe. So you typically just like choose one, create an MVP, get it done and over with. And then here's PayPal. I believe the light number is the $15 a month and the darker color is the uh, $30 a month. So, uh, but in total in PayPal for Automate POD made $990. Um, which is great like if you can tell like so $630 from Stripe $990 from PayPal You can truly see there like if we didn't have PayPal if we only had Stripe We wouldn't be having an additional $999 a month. So I believe like my business partner said the right thing like saying like hey We need to have PayPal and I was like, okay fine. We can do it. So yeah without that suggestion we wouldn't have made an extra almost a thousand dollars a month, almost twelve thousand dollars a year just from adding PayPal, which is great. Bubble Scout. Bubble Scout is my second Chrome extension, and uh, it's just a nice little research tool for Redbubble. Uh, if you guys don't know about print on demand, you can. I'll probably link uh, uh, my business partner's 
YouTube channel um, above, above. But uh, so what I did with this one is I use Shopify. Now, I don't really suggest using something like Shopify because the way I had to like integrate it with everything, I thought it would be, I thought it'd make it really nice because it's really easy to just like say, here's a web page, here's my products, here's coupons, here's my customers. Like Sh Shopify handles everything for you. Um, and it's not really, doesn't really tie nicely for software developers. Um, so with that being said, if you want to try and do it, you can. What's really nice is if you put your stuff on Shopify, uh, you can actually get like a decent amount of uh, traffic. So you can see here we've had 7,500 people come to our quote unquote store and um, a little bit down from month over month, but uh, that's actually quite a lot of people. Um, I wonder if it's like the same for Automate POD. But uh, our online store conversion rate, we had like 0.5% people which is really bad because yeah sometimes we would have a high percentage because of whenever my business partner promotes the app on the youtube channel um but we actually had over like 150 people add a subscription to their cart and then they reached and then 90 of them reached checkout and then 40 were actually converted in the month of november um yeah, so definitely quite a big bummer when you see 150 people, potential people, uh, that could have been subscribed and it only really turns down to 40. So it's like a third of that. A third of that was lost when, after they added it to the cart. So I don't know what we need to implement there. Maybe like having the page load faster. Maybe, um, I don't know. There's, there's probably something missing in the cart funnel, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's probably driving those sales down. Um, and what's really interesting here is actually most of our money is made by a direct traffic source. So, uh, I believe that just means like that comes through YouTube. So I think most of this money does come from his, um, YouTube channel. Um, we've actually had a roughly $200 come from just people searching for bubble scout, on a search engine so i don't that could be still people coming from youtube that maybe watched this video and then later were like oh i remember bubble scout who knows but um unknown i don't really know social i think social they typically come from like facebook because he has a facebook group and i think promotes it on there or something like that but um yeah so definitely marketing through youtube has done pretty well for us um, and the total sales, I mean, we've already talked about this $1,400 amazing, um, almost does just as much as P automate POD. And, uh, I use a, uh, an app on Shopify called payroll. It's pretty nice. Um, it keeps track of all your paying subscribe or like you can turn products into subscriptions on Shopify, but nonetheless, a very great app to have. If you're actually going to try to use Shopify, like it, it, I would honestly use probably use Shopify um, if you're not a really a great web designer you're not, you're not really good at like coding a database for products and other stuff like that so how passive is this truly um, so I probably spent 30 minutes to an hour uh, I didn't really like you know I didn't really set up like a little a little stop and go timer but um I probably spent like 30 minutes to an hour responding to emails. Honestly, it probably wasn't an hour. I'd say 30 minutes. Um, and then also 30 minutes doing like one small change in November. I had a decent size change in October because we were getting quite a bit of emails and people leaving due to how I was doing authentication. Um, but uh, yeah, so probably like I spent an hour in the month of November to make $3,000. Uh, now granted, yeah, yes, I I spent quite a bit of time actually writing the app up front and like the pay, like the website and everything. But honestly, uh, that was only, I, that probably only took me at least, that probably only took me like 80 hours, I think, to like build all of this. And then from time to time, it's just like a few hours here, a few hours there over the course of, you know, six to eight months. And like now it's just like, it's just, kind of now it's just passive income like I put in all the effort up front and now it's just like I barely do anything and then over time I just 
slowly get money and it's been pretty consistent like making three thousand dollars a month doing something for like an hour but you tell me how passive that is let me know i think it's better than dropping your pants um i think that was a pretty nice joke to have there but get ready in a couple of weeks because i'm going to be putting out a video of how much i made in the year of 2021 at the end of december like the first week of january but anyways peace out guys hope you guys liked it